Susan Lucci, the recipient of the Lifetime Achievement Award at the 50th Annual Daytime Emmy Awards, just lit up the stage with her explosive decision to nix the screening of Meghan Markle and Prince Harry's Netflix flick during this prestigious event. Talk about a bold move. Susan Lucci, the daytime darling who's been entertaining and informing us for half a century, decided that this Netflix sideshow didn't deserve a spot on her coveted stage. She bluntly declared that the film was nothing but a hot mess of low quality and had absolutely zero relevance to the daytime television industry. Ouch. But hold on to your hats, folks, because Lucci wasn't done. She went on to expose the truth about Meghan and Harry's Netflix escapade. Supposed to be a documentary about their mental health struggles and philanthropic work, it was nothing more than a cringeworthy, self-indulgent propaganda piece. Bravo, Meghan and Harry. Bravo, Lucci didn't mince her words. I decided to cancel the screening of Meghan and Harry's Netflix film because I don't think it was appropriate or relevant to the Daytime Emmy Awards. Boom, she continued. This is a celebration of daytime television, a recognition of talent, creativity, diversity, excellence, passion, dedication, integrity, professionalism, generosity, courage, resilience, innovation, inspiration, vision, legacy, and the daytime television industry. Meghan and Harry's Netflix film does not belong here. But don't think for a second that Susan Lucci stopped there. Oh, no. She went for the jugular calling their Netflix venture a pathetic attempt to exploit their royal status and manipulate public opinion. It's a disgrace to the daytime television industry and a total waste of everyone's precious time and money. It's a joke, a flop, it's the me you can't see, because Susan Lucci certainly doesn't want to see it. The audience at the Daytime Emmy Awards couldn't contain their enthusiasm for Lucci's epic takedown. Standing ovation, Thunderous applause and cheers filled the room as she basked in the glory of her own courage and honesty. But guess what? Meghan and Harry's supporters were left in the dust as the public and the media rallied behind Lucci, declaring their Netflix film a colossal failure and a fiasco. Susan Lucci's speech will undoubtedly go down in history as one of the most unforgettable moments in the Daytime Emmy Awards saga. It's the ultimate mic drop the final word on Meghan and Harry's ill-fated attempt to infiltrate the daytime television scene. A masterpiece, a classic, a lesson, and a challenge to anyone foolish enough to cross paths with the daytime queen. And let's not forget the Lifetime Achievement Award, which Susan Lucci finally snagged after 41 years of nominations and near misses. About time, right? Her former co-star Shamar Moore presented her with this long-overdue accolade. Moore famously announced her first Emmy win back in 1999, and now, in 2023, Lucci's Lifetime Achievement Award was seen as a well-deserved recognition of her massive contribution to the daytime television industry. But what really set Lucci apart on this memorable night was her unwavering support for the monarchy and her close friendship with Queen Elizabeth. She didn't hold back when she called out Meghan and Harry's behavior as appalling, especially their shameless attempt to cash in on their royal status with that lucrative Netflix deal. I have always admired and respected the royal family, especially Her Majesty the Queen, who has been a source of inspiration and strength for me and millions of people around the world, Lutchie declared. She then proceeded to rip Meghan and Harry to shreds, accusing them of showing no gratitude, loyalty, dignity, or class. According to Lucci, they betrayed their values, their traditions, their heritage, and their legacy, all for a few dollars and a fleeting taste of fame. Ouch, again. A royal smackdown of epic proportions, delivered by the one and only Susan Lucci. Meghan and Harry, you might want to reconsider your next career move because the Queen of Daytime just dropped the hammer and it's not looking good for you.